Hey, Dr. Osborne here. Today, our viewer Sue wrote in with this question. Does gluten play a role in the development of seizures and leaky brain? Simple answer to this question is yes. I'm gonna allude back to a TV show you might have seen before called Discovery Health. In this show, there was an episode where a woman with celiac disease had a young child, and this baby was, was manifesting with a seizure disorder. And they couldn't figure out why. The child had gone to a number of different doctors and finally landed on a really smart pediatrician who tested the child for gluten sensitivity and found that the child had a gluten issue. Now, for those of you who've never heard this connection before, it's very important that you understand that gluten, although it can cause celiac disease, and it does for many, can also cause epileptic seizure disorder. So if you've been diagnosed with epilepsy, if you've been told that you have a seizure problem and the doctor said, hey, you have this problem, but we don't really know why, now's the time to get investigated for gluten sensitivity. Now, what's the proper way to get tested for gluten sensitivity risk? It's to do genetic testing. And I'll put a link down here in the description of the video for you on more information about genetic testing. The reason why if you test for celiac disease, you might get a false negative result. Remember that not everybody with gluten issues has celiac findings or has positive celiac labs. And so that's why we look at the genes. We look at the gene markers because you either have them or you don't. And if you do, it's the best thing for you in your diet is to avoid gluten. Because remember, I've said this before, gluten is a neurotoxin. One of the side effects of gluten can be epileptic seizure disorder. And on that same note, I'll just elaborate a little bit more. Some people get put on epileptic medications, seizure medications. It's very important that you understand that these medications can cause B vitamin deficiencies. And these B vitamin deficiencies are actually known to cause neurological damage that can mimic seizure. And one of them is vitamin B1. So vitamin B1 deficiency can cause a type of neurological disease that mimics seizure called beriberi. And then another one is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also exacerbate seizures and epileptic disorders. So you've got to keep that in mind. If you're taking an any, epi any epileptic medication, you really want to make sure your doctor's monitoring your nutritional status to ensure that you're not becoming deficient in those critical B vitamins that are necessary to keep your nervous system at its healthiest. So thanks for writing in with your question. Look, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, email me at glutenology at gmail.com. We'll do our best to get you an answer. And as always, make sure you tune in every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, that's Texas time, for Pick Dr. Osborne's Brain Live, where we take your toughest health questions in a live format. Hope you have a wonderful day. This is Dr. Osborne. Take care.